Welcome back to Pseudo Sergeant. In this segment, I'm going to give you an overview of the system program shell. A program shell is a system program for executing other programs, conducting administrative tasks, or to run scripts. It's sometimes referred to as a prompt, command line interface, console user interface, character user interface, command line language interpreter, or interactive command line. The program shell is an interactive command interpreter intended as a scripting language and contains most of the features that are commonly considered to produce structured programs. Let me provide a little bit of historical context. When I say terminal or console, you probably imagine a dark screen with a blinking cursor uh, where you might type some instructions to direct a computer, but it wasn't always this way. Let me explain. The terminal emulator is a modern evolution of the early electromechanical device known as a teleprinter, teletypewriter, console, or teletype. A teletype printer is an electromechanical device similar to a typewriter used to send commands to a mainframe and receive output. A console and a terminal were essentially the same thing, however they were slightly different. The console was generally comparable in hardware terms to any other terminal, save that it was a terminal connected directly to the mainframe and intended for system maintenance. The entire process is now emulated by software. As Linux evolved, the functionality of consoles has been built into the kernel as virtual consoles. Software has been written to emulate terminals. Its legacy can be found in the abbreviation TTY, which is used for device files to identify virtual consoles or to represent terminal connections. There are three more things I'm going to introduce to you. The terminal, the console, and the program shell. A terminal is a program that emulates the legacy physical hardware connected to a mainframe. It allows text input and produces text output. Here are a few examples. Console, my personal favorite. GNOME Terminal, LX Terminal, Xterm, and Terminator. There are many more terminals, but these are just a few. A console is essentially the same as a terminal, however, in historical context, it's generally considered the point of interaction with a mainframe and was intended for system maintenance. In a modern system, the virtual console serve a very similar role. The shell is a program which receives and interprets instructions. The shell can run independently of the terminal emulator, however, we will only be examining it in terms of its relation to the terminal emulator. There are numerous shells to choose from. Here are a few. Born shell, born again shell, seashell, corn shell, remote shell, and quite a few others. The prompt is the beginning of a line in a program shell which signifies start of input. The command line is the space to the right of the prompt where instructions and data are input. You'll generally find your blinking cursor here. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate switching between different virtual consoles. I can type uh, W to see which user is logged into which console, and it looks like there's nobody on any other virtual consoles right now. The only virtual console that's active right now is TTY1. On this particular machine, we have six different virtual consoles that are set up, and to switch between them, we hold down Control, Alt, and then press either the function key 1 through function key 6 uh, sequentially. So this is TTY1, so let's go to TTY2. And you see at the top there, it's kind of a little, might be a little difficult to see because the font is so small, but this is TTY2. You see it in uh, parentheses there. And Control Alt F3 will give us TTY3. Control Alt F4, uh, the next one, and then Control F5 and Control F6. That's how we switch between all the different virtual consoles. Let's go back to Virtual Console 2. And how about we log in here? Um, uh, there's my account name and. Uh, my super secret passphrase. So now we're logged in on the virtual console 2. We'll go back to 1 and we'll do W again to list who is logged in. And you'll be able to see that I'm logged in on TTY1, also logged in on TTY2. Let's go to TTY3 and I'll log in as a different user. Um, I'll log in as a pseudo sergeant. All right, so let's go back to our TTY1 and type W to list who is logged in. You see TTY1, Technicus, as we were, already were. Technician is logged into TTY2 as well. And then Sergeant is logged into TTY3. How about we go to Virtual Console 2 and instantiate another instance of the graphical environment. So to do that, we type start X. Here we go, it loads up. So now we have a whole new desktop that is completely independent of our previous desktop. So here's desktop one on TTY one, uh, virtual console one. And here's our other desktop on virtual console two. Anything that we do on this graphical environment that we've instantiated on virtual console two will be completely independent from anything that we do on virtual console one. So a practical application for this would be, for instance, someone wanted to set up a machine 
to do multi-seat. And multi-seat is sort of like multi-head, except the difference is there are multiple monitors connected to one computer, but at each monitor there's also an addition of input devices like a keyboard and a mouse. So there's multiple keyboards and mouse and monitors, maybe even audio devices, all connected to one computer and then it would essentially function as a mainframe did uh, long, long ago. So there's an introduction to virtual consoles, terminal emulators, and program shells. I find this to be a very interesting subject. And I'm curious to know your experience with teletypes and uh, what you've done with virtual consoles. And that's all the time we have for this segment of the Pseudo Sergeant. If you'd like to see more, please visit us at element14.com forward slash TBHS. <laughs>